Thunder. Today is a very cool video because today is Daddy and Dash Day. And Dash, what are we gonna do today, buddy? That's right, you heard it right. We're going back to the zoo. Now the zoo is a little over two kilometers away from our flat, uh, which means we will probably pass some pretty cool places along the way, specifically a coffee shop. Right, Dash, because, because first, coffee. Now, if you caught our last Barcelona Zoo video, you'll remember that this little dude fell asleep when we were, um, when we were looking at the zebras. So today, hopefully, Dash will still be awake by the time we get there. There's no promises. He's already given us that sleepy eye, as you can tell. So you're very quiet right now. So um, since it's around a 30-minute walk, in an ideal situation, he'll take a nap before we get there. Then he'll wake up, and then we'll get to play with some zebras. We just made it to one of our favorite plazas here in Barcelona, and there's always, 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 100% of the time, live musicians here, so we'll see who's performing today, because the music is always good. Dash just bought some birds, his favorite. Right, Dad? You spotted the birds, too? See the birds? Do you want to say something, Dash? I mean, we've got some time to kill. We've got a little bit of a walk. Do you want to tell everybody anything, something? You want to make an announcement? Exactly, exactly. I agree with you. I agree with you. I am just as excited as you are. I know, the zoo is going to be so much fun, right? One of the things I've always wanted to have if we had a sticks and bricks, and actually our friends Sean and Christine actually have one of these style of grills, uh, the Komodo style grills, um, but this is like a really, really cool one. Check this one out. Look at that. I mean, how cool look is that? That is one sexy looking grill. Nice. For future reference there for myself, it's called the Komodo B10. Looks like it's hand painted and it's in the window, so definitely gotta be cheap. Just kidding. No, it's probably really expensive, but it looked really, really cool. <laughs> And we just made it to the main strip that leads all the way down towards the zoo. So we're roughly like five minutes away from the entrance. Um, and guess who just decided to take a little nap? Yep, this guy. So uh, hopefully, hopefully it's uh, just a little cat nap. Meow. And he'll wake up as soon as we see the zebras. But we shall see. Now on this main strip, you can kind of see like right, uh, boop, boop, right there. That is the big archway that we featured in a few videos. It's very popular around, not very popular. It's one of the major landmarks here in Barcelona. Um, so this strip runs from basically where that archway is all the way down towards the entrance to the Barcelona Zoo. We made it, yay! If you remember in one of our previous videos when we first came to the zoo, we ended up getting a family pass, which was, I think, roughly around 80 euros or so for all of us. Um, and they gave us these passes. Now, um, they did ask us to print out our photo and then put our photo in this little box right here. But, I mean, we don't have a printer handy. Um, so I was wondering how today would go. But basically what I did was I went to the gates. You can see directly boop, right there. And this little QR code thing, I scanned it and the door opened, or the little gate thing opened and I just walked basically straight through, so pretty cool. Now, as you can see, um, I think I just started on by accident, oops. But um, as you can see, this dude is out. Which is unfortunate because right over there is the zebras. Um, 
I'm gonna buy a little bit of time, see if he wakes up, or if this is just basically uh, a daddy day at the zoo. We'll see how this goes, but you might be able to hear in the background here, they have, sounds like a bird sanctuary, literally it sounds like it because you can hear the birds squawking. So we're gonna go check that out because this dude loves his birds. I see somebody up there. Something seems a little off with this bird. Uh, as you can see right there, that's what's uh, supposed to be in the cage. And there's the, the bird that's actually in the cage. Um, yeah, I'm no bird expert, but uh, I don't think that's the same bird. And over here, we've got some blue throated macaws. There we go. They're just uh, doing a little bit of necking up there. Um, yeah, having a good old time. Hey little birdies, I wish Dash was awake to see you guys. So Dash, what do you think of those beautiful big blue birds? Aren't they amazing? I know, right? They're so cool looking, right? Right, buddy? They are so cool. I know, I know. Amazing. Okay, now here's a bird I've definitely never seen, or birds, I should say, there's two of them. And they're huge, but so beautiful. The, the feathers on them are very, very like, bright and vibrant. It's, maybe the camera can capture it, but here, take a look. Okay, these are the hyacinth macaws. So let's see if I can get these guys on if I can do them justice. Yeah, they almost look, I'm seeing this on camera now, they almost look black on camera, but they're like vibrant, vibrant blue. Um, and they are, it's hard to put in perspective, but they're very big birds. <laughs> very, very big. Okay, so while Dash is asleep, I think I'm gonna go see if I can find the cafeteria because I couldn't find coffee on the way here. And, um, Literally, it's almost a guarantee that this place would have coffee. The good stuff, because, I mean, literally every place has coffee. I have never seen as many, like, ten dollars or $20,000, like, high-end coffee machines as I have here in Barcelona. Literally, like, I'm pretty sure you can walk into a gas station and there's, like, a $10,000, like, high-end coffee machine. Now, do they know how to all use it? Well, not so much. But it's really, really cool to see because literally, like, I mean, you're just in some random shop and then in the background you see like a coffee machine that's like super high end behind them. Um, so yeah, so I can appreciate that. Probably more than most people, and I'm sure some of you as well that are, you know, coffee drinkers like I am. Now, between Laura and I, <clears throat> I'm usually the one doing the most monkey around. Um, but somebody behind me, takes the cake. A baby monkey! <laughs> so cute. Oh, there's the mama. There's the mama. Or maybe not, because he just kept on going. So maybe not the mama, maybe the dada. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I think that was the dada. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, I'm gonna walk back into the, we went to this cafeteria last time. I don't remember them having coffee, but you never know. So I'll go back in here and check just to be safe. Just to be safe. Not a safety thing, but, well, it could be. I mean, if I was improperly caffeinated, it could be a danger to a lot of people around me. So yes, maybe it is a safety thing. Uh, pay dirt, just as I said, another awesome high-end coffee machine at a zoo.
Now, I don't know how I'm going to drink this. They don't have lids. Sad face. All right. No, back to the adventures of Daddy and Dash. Um, I guess the, uh, the good news is if Dash doesn't wake up, you're just going to get a ton of cheesy one-liners and dad jokes because, uh, yeah, because that's, that's, that's how we're going to make this entertaining. I don't know. This is a daily vlog. Whatever happens, ha oh, what? <gasps> who's awake? Dash, buddy, who's awake? <gasps> Are you awake? You look like a deer in the headlights. Look at that. <laughs> Look where we are, buddy. We're at the zoo. Yes, you fell asleep at the casa, and now we're at the zoo. <gasps> he might not be able to express it fully, but he is excited. Right? Are you excited? That's his excited face. Are you excited? You are so excited. Okay, true story. Um, well, one, I spun around so that he can take it all in. But two, there's a setting with this like carrier where it allows his legs to like dangle freely. Um, well, TMI, but let's just say that um, daddy didn't really appreciate the free swinging legs. Um, he's a powerful kicker and sometimes kicks, uh, yeah, in the wrong spot. So yeah, that didn't pan out. So we've got it situated to where he's facing out and his legs don't dangle as much as normal, uh, which daddy will appreciate on this trip. Back to the zebras, zebras. Wally's awake. We gotta, you know, make the most of it, right, Dash? <gasps> and then we'll go check out some birds. Birds? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we just made it to the zebra area here. Um, I think I see a zebra that wants to come say hi to us, but we'll see if he walks over. Dash, walk. Zebras. There he goes, Dash. There's our zebra. I think he's gonna come over here. Well, I don't know, we'll see. He's eating, so maybe not. Dad, what do you think of the zebra, buddy? What do you think? So cool, right? Yeah? Whoa. Now, while we're waiting for a zebra to hopefully come up and say hi to us, here are a couple of interesting facts about zebras. The white stripes on the zebra can actually be 18 degrees cooler than the black stripes. And considering how close the stripes are, that's pretty significant. And also, the stripes, see the zebras use them to camouflage themselves in tall grass. Although, the number one predator of zebras is a lion. Roar. Dash, what did you think of that? He he came really close, right? Daddy got to touch his nose. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so Dash wanted to show you this. They're called the mufflo. Um, and apparently they used to be prevalent throughout the Mediterranean region. Not so much because of hunting. Uh, although they're starting to reintroduce them to the climates. But the males have a spiral horn up top uh, and the females have little to no horn so judging by the fact that none of these have the big spirally horns that we just saw on the sign I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that these are all females it's a lot of females in one spot yeah hopefully they all get along I mean they appear to be getting along so that's a good sign oh this guy over here wants to say something I think no? No? Getting a little camera shy? Thought you had something to say, buddy? No? Okay, well, the mufflo's being a little bit uh, camera shy now. Is there anything else you want them to know about the mufflo? No? You want to point to them? Yeah. Yeah. He's a big fan of the mufflo. I wasn't sure what Dash was pointing to, but now I, I can see. There's actually a male in the, in the enclosure here. Let me, uh, let me show you. Let me give you a close-up. There you go. There's a male, and he's got the spirally horns, just like the photo. Dash is scoping out this peacock over here. 
<laughs> Dash, what do you think of that peacock, dude? Isn't that cool? It's pretty feathers. <laughs> literally, literally, I think he wants to like jump out of this thing and go crawl towards it. That's why he's looking towards the ground. I already know his, I know his MO already. He's like, put me down so I can go crawl over and hug that birdie. That's what he's thinking. Okay, so one of the really cool things about this trip is that we're getting to explore a little bit more than we did the first time. So I'm trying to hit different sections that we haven't been to. Um, I've been on the prowl for a cheetah, and I think, I mean, I see at least a picture of one on the sign here. So hopefully that means there's one here. Um, but you just, you just never know. But there are a bunch of animals here on the sign. Doesn't necessarily mean they're all here. Um, fun fact, uh, got this little sign here. It says fauna. Lauren's mom is an expert on flora and fauna. Little known fact, pretty cool. It looks like we're making our way to another animal closure here. And this one is oh, the lion. Uh-oh, let's see if we can see the lion. Um, I mean, that's a really cool enclosure. I'm not seeing any lions though, Dash. Do you see any? No. Hmm. No, we weren't seeing any lions there. Um, it is a Spanish lion, so maybe it's taking a midday siesta. I don't know, who knows, but uh, either way, not visible. Um, this is pure joy right here. You have to see it. I'm gonna show you his face right now. Dad, look at the giraffe, dude. Look at that. <laughs> is that wild? Look how long his neck is. <laughs> Dash, that's a giraffe. <gasps> that's a giraffe, buddy. Dash, what are they doing? <laughs> you can get so close here. Dash, do you like that? Do you like the giraffe, buddy? Yeah, do you like the giraffe? I don't know who's enjoying this more, me or him. Literally, the giraffe is just right on the other side of the glass. Look, 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 dude. The giraffe is right there. Look, the giraffe's saying hi to you. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm loving the zoo so much. Literally, so he'll walk outside here, right? There's a little wall, a counter here. And then they're literally right here behind me. And maybe maybe like 10 feet of space between us and the giraffe. Um, interesting known fact about giraffes, they're the tallest land animals and they can, they can grow as high as 5.5 meters. Yeah, they're really tall. And another really cool thing about giraffes, their spots are sort of their unique, unique identifiers because they're all different. So they all have different patterns. Dash and I just spotted some pinkish orangish i guess technical color not technically the color but whatever you want to call it uh looking birds with long legs and they're some of our favorites Do you like these birds? Do you like the flamingos? Yeah? Yeah? Oh, Dash 
Just luck? Ooh. He's a big one, right? We're following the girl around the enclosure here. Check this out. <gasps> look, look, Dash. <laughs> so, oh, he's going to the next window. We're going to go run to the next window. There's a bunch of windows and it gets you real, real close. Okay, here we go. Ready? Whoa, dude, look. Look at the gorilla. <laughs> Technical name is Lowland Gorilla. He's huge. All muscle. Dad, what do you think of the gorilla? He's just sitting there eating, and his friends over there eating. See right there? I think it's snack time. Right? <laughs> you wave it to the gorilla? You waving? Yeah? You wave it to the gorilla, buddy? <laughs> We just made it over to the uh, chimpanzee enclosure and there's roughly like five of them and uh, yeah, they're just kind of chilling. But I mean, overall, this area of the zoo is bananas. Seems to be a lot of action up ahead, Dash. Let's go check it out. Dash, what do you think it is, huh? Are you curious? Let's go find out. Looks like this enclosure is all Ibobo's family. So Ibobo is, I guess, the head of this monkey household. And then you've got his girlfriend, whatever you want to call it, uh, a bunch of children. Um, the funny thing is Ibobo is like off in the corner, like need to move into a bigger casa because there is not enough room for all seven of us from the same family in this one enclosure. I'm sure that's what he's thinking because he's just sitting there like pondering his life's choices. So I think one of the really, the, no, easily one of the cool things about the zoo is that there's so many like glass walls here in enclosures where you can get so close to the animals. Dash, look, look behind you. Somebody's coming to say hi. Oh, look at that monkey. Look at that monkey, dude. Here, let's squat down. Look. Look at the monkey. Look. <laughs> Dude, you're like two feet away from monkeys. Look at that. <laughs> Dad, what do you think of that, Dad? Is that amazing or what? Dash, they're just like right next to us. Look at this. Did you like that a lot? Was that cool? get to be so close to the animals. Oh, oh. I know, they're like so close. <laughs> Look at the little baby monkeys. Oh my goodness, there's just so much, there's so much to see here. Um, there you go. And he's just like taking it all in. Now Dash may not be as excited about this next animal as I am, but eventually he's gonna be a huge fan. So Dash, this is Pumba and his friends, Pumbaa and friends, yes. And if you don't know what Pumbaa is from, well then you need to get caught up on your Disney movies. Look, look buddy, what do you think of the warthog? <laughs> Again, these enclosures are literally like the animals come right up to the glass, so. It's really, really cool because you're, I mean, well, one, I mean, well, here's the edge of the glass right there, but you're really so close to the animals. Um, it gives you a good uh, perspective of their actual size. So in a lot of uh, zoos we've been to where the enclosures are kind of, you know, far away or set back from the main uh, walkways, it's kind of hard to determine their actual size. Whereas when you're standing right next to them, you can really like gauge their size compared to yours. Look, you're like right next to a warthog. You're literally like a, 
a foot away from a warthog. <laughs> oh, look, you got another friend coming over to visit. <laughs> what do you think of all of this? Is this like the best day ever? <coughs> right? Daddy's winning some major cool points today. Right? <laughs> oh, here he comes. Look, check this out. Look, dash look. Oh, there he goes. Look, he wants to say hi. Look. Look. <laughs> yeah? You want to say hi to the warthog? What do you want to tell the warthog, buddy? <laughs> Another huge advantage to coming today is that it's during the week and there's I mean, it's basically like Dash and I have the whole zoo to ourselves. I mean, there's a few people scattered throughout the zoo, but for the most part, it's kind of empty, which is really perfect because we get all the close encounters with the animals all to ourselves today. Okay, we found a staircase here. Let's see what's at the top of this staircase. Literally have no clue. Could just be restrooms, I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. And seems to be another animal enclosure. Oh, I think I see something off in the distance. Elephantes. All right, so this animal enclosure for the elephants, obviously because they're large, is also large. It looks like there's different walkways around the circumference of this. And I think I can see an enclosure or a, a walkway that's close to where they're at right now. So we'll go check it out. Okay, not this way. Well, let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Might have just struck pay dirt, Dash. There we go, there's the elephants. Apparently, Dash is just not that into elephants. I guess he finds them irrelevant. <laughs> hey, Dash, what does an elephant do when he hurts his toe? He calls it a toe drug. we went into when we first came in I thought was an aviary but it's not uh, pretty good indications because I see something behind me or in front of me really that says aviary so we're definitely gonna check that out right dash we're checking out the aviary <laughs> yeah dude here we go buddy Lauren may have mentioned this in the previous video, but uh, one of the disadvantages to coming to places in the off season is that they're typically doing all of their off season construction. So there's a ton of construction happening right now at the zoo. Um, 
I would assume in preparation for the summer months, which just have to be absolutely packed here when you have much warmer climates. So because of that, there's a couple of the uh, enclosures that are closed off where they're doing renovations um, and so on. But I mean, again, overall, the fact that, check this out, I mean, we have the whole place to ourselves. I mean, Dash can play Echo here, eh, right? <laughs> and that's pretty cool. Here, let's go check out some birdies over here. Ready? Look. Oh, look at all the birdies. Whoa. What do you think? Do you see the birds? Uh, that's his sleepy face. He's circling back to sleepy time because he's starting to stare at things. So the next step is like just completely passed out. Echo? Look at this bird. Oh. This is a Saiyan hornbill. Uh. All right, just wrapped up the bird encounter aviary. Um, some of the displays are kind of offline right now, but um, overall, I think Dash enjoyed it. I think he's starting to get a little bit tired, like I mentioned. So I think my time here is limited. Yeah, I think the dash timer just went off. He's getting sleepy, so I'm gonna wrap up our stay here at the zoo and we're gonna head back towards the casa. Since we're close to my easily favorite bakery here in Barcelona at this point, because at this point, uh, <clears throat> may have been there like four or five times already, um, we're gonna have to swing by and pick up some croissants. And again, I will say these are probably the best croissants I've ever had in my entire life anywhere on the planet. So if you're in Barcelona, you have to come get these. Finally made it. Hoffman's the best. Croissants secured. Time to head back to Mama. I got Mama her very favorite. She likes the raspberry croissants. Um, and I am a huge fan. I am, no, I'm obsessed with the mascarpone croissant. Like, obsessed. Yeah, I'll admit that. Now Dash, on the other hand, um, he likes all the croissants. Any flavor, any size or shape, all of them. <laughs> right, buddy? He would like tear into that right now if I gave it. What? Oh, okay. Cool. There you go. Okay. Well, there we go. He's ready. He's diving in. Since Mama Bear is probably going to be working late tonight, I'm going to swing by and pick up some food for dinner for us um, at one of our favorite places. Again, we've kind of become obsessed with not necessarily the best food, but kind of goes hand in hand with uh, the pastries here. It's called a uh, vegan junk food. And it's, um, I think it's vegan. Yeah, it's literally called vegan junk food, um, but it's really good. And you know, I'm not like tonight where don't really want to be doing any uh, decision making or discussions over dinner. I don't know about you guys, but like literally most nights we're like, what do you want to eat? 
I don't know, what do you wanna eat? And every couple has those discussions. So I'm just making an executive decision here, pick up some food for takeout, and that's what we're eating tonight. We come here so often that everybody knows that Dash loves raspberries, so I don't even have to ask for them anymore. They just automatically bring them out of plate of raspberries. It's the best. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, are you waving now? I tried to get him to, oh, there you go. I was trying to get him to wave inside, but he wouldn't wave. Now that we're outside walking back, he's like all about waving to, I don't know, I guess like everybody in the street. <laughs> All right, so to everybody that works there, Dash is officially Raspberry Boy. Everybody knows who Raspberry Boy is, and it's Dash. Right, Dash, are you Raspberry Boy? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> are you Raspberry Boy? <laughs> yeah? True story, I bring him to the Barcelona Zoo to see exotic animals and literally he's more entertained by the pigeons. That's right, free of charge pigeons right there. As many as you can, as many as you want right there. <laughs> he loves the pigeons. Heading back towards the main square, which means more live musicians. We'll see who's out today. like a sleepy drunk. This is sleepy drunk face. He is about to pass out. <laughs> All right, we made it home and we're about to go up the elevator to see Mama. And we're bringing her some treats, right Dash? But she's most likely gonna be on some work calls. So with that being said, we'll have to sneak in like ninjas so we don't interrupt her calls. But what that means is that this is the perfect time to cap this video off for today. So, Dash, what should everybody do, buddy? <gasps> Besides take a nap, you should wander local. Because as you know, it's good for the soul. And we'll see you tomorrow, friend. Say bye, Dash. Bye. <gasps> there you go. That's perfect. Yeah. Yes.